<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a get ready with me. I know how much you guys loved the last one. My cousin came to my house like a few months ago and she was like, I like your channel. Like, I, I don't really watch favourite videos but like, could you do another like, I don't know why I'm making this video. Like, she was like, can you do another get ready with me because I don't really like watch your favourite videos. So I'm like, okay, we're going to do a get ready with me video. Today we're going to do a get ready. We're gonna chat about some things that have been going on. We're gonna chat about YouTube, about makeup, about beauty. I'm not going to do a favourites this month. Sorry to let you guys down because I know some of you probably look forward to my monthly favourites every month. Why is that my face for everything? Right? But I just figured, legit, in terms of beauty favourites, I probably have like four beauty favourites and I'm like, I'm not going to stretch out a video for the sake of it. So some of my favourites I've got here on the side. I'm not going to use them in my look unless obviously what I have pulled from my kind of beauty stash is not working. Maybe as I do my foundation, if I have a foundation that I like, maybe as I do highlight, um, if I have a highlighter that I like, I will shout it out for you guys. And then maybe at the end we might do some song favourites. But throughout the video, we're going to be just having a good time. I'm listening to Mary Mary today because feeling so blessed so we are going to jump straight in we're going to go in with foundation i'm using a stick foundation today i have been trying out some stick foundations before i go ahead and talk about what i'm using today i'm going to tell you about a stick foundation that i have been liking i haven't been loving but i did want to mention it in case you guys maybe wanted my feedback on it because you might have seen me talk about it on snapchat somewhere else so this is the hourglass vanish stick foundation i think i did mention this on snapchat that i picked it up i've had this for about two or three weeks now the reason that i'm not really sure if it's a favorite now i do like it to me a favorite is that like something that you literally the whole month you have not been able to live without and every time you just think about doing your makeup your favorite product is that thing that you cannot imagine doing your makeup without and i have been dibbling and dabbling in different foundations like i went to an event um last week and i didn't wear this just because i didn't know how it would perform so i'm not going to class it as a favorite but i did enjoy the coverage it is a really great color match for me i think hourglass really did great with the shade selection of these particular foundations i've noticed when i'm wearing it i do get some creasing in my laugh lines and that's something that i used to get like a long time ago before i started like setting my face with powder even when when I do set my laugh lines with powder, I notice that throughout the day I still have laugh lines and creases that kind of appear there. So that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite foundations for the month. And also I did notice a tiny bit of transferring, which is probably because it's so creamy, but I really do like to kind of cake on the powder when I do set my foundation. So so it's not like I haven't been putting on the powder and the kind of like the oils are still seeping through. Now bear in mind it doesn't really make me oily, however, I've noticed that throughout the day sometimes when wearing this it does kind of separate. So I walk continue to test and try this out i think i've used it with maybe two different powders i believe i've tried it with the derma blend powder and then with the air spun um maybe i'll use it another day when i'm just doing my makeup regularly and maybe i'll use it with a different powder and i will update you guys on that but i wanted to mention that for you guys because this is a really nice foundation even though it's not 10 out of 10 i'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 that's good enough to make it to this video i mean the foundation i am using however it's my brand that yeah it has been getting a lot of negative press and i'm really upset about why was like i was my voice was like breaking as if i was about to cry Ooh, yuck it's a brand that has been getting a lot of negative press you know in the past week and i just think it's so unfortunate because i think that this brand is amazing if you don't know what i'm talking about it's anastasia beverly hills i recently bought this stick foundation i actually bought it on the day that subculture was released and i was on the website instead of buying subculture i just went ahead and bought this foundation stick because i'm in the shade chestnut and if you know anything about these anastasia beverly hills stick foundations chestnut has been out of stock everywhere for the past i would say six months and it's so funny that i actually grabbed it on the day that subculture was released because i was i was not checking for that palette and i'm really glad i didn't buy it because the reviews have been horrendous we're gonna go ahead and apply and talk at the same time i've literally worn this once and i do like it however i find that this is not as mattifying i've switched up the powder today i believe i used it with the air spun powder the first time i used it today we're going to use the laura mercier because that's an amazing powder oh, it looks real crazy in this lighting though it looks really crazy guys but i'm sure it will calm down i just can't believe the amount of negative press that anastasia beverly hills is getting in a sense i kind of kind of kind just a little bit i feel like some people are jumping on the bandwagon i have seen a lot of reviews literally this morning i woke up and watched about 10 reviews purely because i was like i just want to understand what exactly is the problem it, yeah, stevie wonder could have seen that that palette 
yeah i think anastasia consistently comes out with good quality products so for me this is just an anomaly and i'm kind of going to rule it out i really 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 hope that they're like being really smart and take on all the feedback and go and reformulate it and do a relaunch because i absolutely think that would be such an incredible idea this foundation looks horrendous it's just like not moving I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the hourglass on top then. It was close but no cigar, like the packaging is perfect, the colours in it are perfect, I think the whole concept of it was perfect, the fact that they were kind of introducing it to the market as the modern renaissance like the little sister because the modern renaissance is my favourite palette on this whole entire earth and I know a lot of people on YouTube love it so I get why they kind of went down that route from what I've seen in videos and stuff, oh my god I look like death. The ABH foundation is horrendous, oh my god. Just when I was trying to help redeem them. <laughs> So please, I'm begging for Anastasia to reformulate the shadows and just kind of start again. And by the way, when I said jumping on a bandwagon, I don't mean that people are just hating on it to hate it. I'm sure the people who actually genuinely like it are putting out good reviews. But I think everybody kind of bought the palette and everybody's kind of like, oh my god, let me get it out and kind of like jump on this ABH subculture like bandwagon before it ends. So like, let me get my video out and like, let me say bad things about the palette and let me put it on so I can get loads of views. I mean, sorry, not sorry. I have to call a spade a spade. Made. so this foundation for today is going to be a no we're going to just leave that down there we're going to pretend that never happened and we're going to move on i'm going to set my face i'm going to use the laura mercier loose setting powder i'm now going to go in with concealer i decided i'm going to get these bad boys out mainly because i think i bought this one in new york last year and i think i bought this one shortly after that and um, so it's about time that i got rid of them but i wanted to use this product today because it's a throwback <laughs> It's actually interesting to see like bigger YouTubers who've like supported Anastasia Beverly Hills or Anastasia Beverly Hills are supporting them like just come right out and say like you know this product is not great and it's really good because it shows a lot of transparency and it also regardless of whether some people want to believe it or not it shows that some people need to be honest and like not everybody's getting paid to say like things about brands and products you know if, if they don't truly feel that way. What we do win now blush. I'm going to use this Sigma called the Rosa or a powder. This is a face powder aka a blush. I actually got this in a goodie bag last week because my friend Christina, which I know I spoke about her in my last get, oh my god that's such a nice like turn of events. In my last get ready with me, I was getting ready to go to an event she was hosting with Smashbox. In this get ready with me, I've got a product from an event that she hosted with Jada Pinkett Smith. Can you believe it? They hosted a private screening of Girls Trip, you know, a few days before it came out. There were a lot of bloggers there. But this is the powder in Cor de Rosa. It's a nice pinky blanc. Blanc? It's a nice pinky brown blush. I've been really going ham on the blush these days. Now, for someone who doesn't really care about blush, which I make it a thing to always be known. Yeah, I've been, I've been going ham. Why have I done my blush for my bronzer, though? Why? I guess I was just so excited to talk about Girl's Trip. The movie was incredible. If you have not watched it yet, I would highly, highly advise that you guys go to watch Girl's Trip. Uh, Jada Pinkett was there at the screening as well. She kind of came, gave us a little overview, took pictures of people. Of course, my black ass was late. Can I ask why you're FaceTiming me when I'm filming? I need your specialist help. Um, I'm filming. I'm filming! Yeah, I'm currently bronzing, so you're interrupting the bronze. As I was saying, I'm not really for like those like, woo! these comedy road trip yeah friends haven't seen each other for 20 years kind of thing and then they reunite it's so obvious they did it in such a way that was so refreshing and it the plot in a way wasn't obvious as it got to the plot you know now it's time to highlight, but before I highlight, I'm going to talk about three highlights that I've been enjoying this month. So I've been loving the Maybelline Master Creme, first of all. This stuff is incredible. It's the most gorgeous shade of, like, goldy peach. I know that a lot of people were kind of reviewing this last month when it first kind of hit the show. So I really do like this. If you guys were looking to grab it, I'm going to tell you guys, please do grab it for a drugstore highlight, like... I've actually got another drugstore highlight. This is the Wet and Wound, kind of my canopy highlighting powder. Now, I thought this would be a bit too dark for me, but because I'm, I'm starting to just love those pure, like, gold highlights now. It does look quite dark there, but when you put it on, it looks like a bronzy gold, which I really, really do like about this highlight. It's so incredibly beautiful. And then lastly, this is the Kylie Ultra Glow in the shade Fiji. I recently bought Tahiti as well when she had her last restock, so I'm just waiting for that to come in the post. I'm trying to open it to swatch it for you guys, but I've just... This is a sign. The fact that the box is not letting me open it is just a sign. It's messy. It gets all over the place. If you haven't seen swatches of it, please do Google it because I just don't want to get this everywhere. I'm wearing white as well. So, this guy. 
the highlight I've been loving recently as well, which is not a favourite, I've been using it for like the past two or three days, but I'm going to be using it today and I've actually been really, really liking it, is another Anastasia Beverly Hills product. This is the So Hollywood Illuminator. I've actually had this for a few months now and I bought it more so because I just was like, it's a cult product. Like So Hollywood is like one of those highlighters. As soon as you say it, like everybody knows what So Hollywood is. I have so many highlighters and I figured like if I don't pull it out now and kind of test and trial it today, like it will never be the day. Now, I don't know that you guys can see, but you know, I was talking about with the smile lines creasing. They're just a small, tiny crease there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm looking at my monitor and I literally can't see it, so I don't know how you guys will see it, but just trust me on this. There's a little crease just in my laugh line, which I don't usually get because I set quite well, so maybe I'll just apply a bit more powder to this area. I've picked up two palettes because I don't know if I'm going to use a combination of them both or maybe just the one. I've picked up the Nicole Concilio Times Violet Voss palette, which I originally was not actually going to buy, but I saw Jackie Ainley using it in her Get Ready With Me on her channel with Nicole and I decided I would get it. I also potentially maybe sort of kind of want to maybe might use the Colourpop Yes Please palette as well. This is another palette that I have been enjoying for the past month. While I think the formulas are amazing, I think the palette is a really great idea. I think it's super affordable and great if you do want an alternative for a palette like the Natasha Denona palette or the Sephora Pro palettes that have just come out. I don't know that I can get as many looks out of this as I thought I could. Like, I really like it, but, like, the possibility for, like, shades on my lid is, like, minimised to these, like, kind of bronzy ones, and I always use those kind of shades, like, on a day-to-day -day basis. I just feel like I always gravitate take the walls these like kind of warm palettes and they just don't push me to be you know more creative when it comes to makeup but not discounting that is an amazing palette we're gonna use this today look at her she's so cute oh i love that when she speaks and she, she goes yeah yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and use this i've also got a glitter from makeup forever which i might go ahead and use but that's just depending on how the metallics in here perform let's first use this shade here this is called breath Okay, yes, nothing, okay. We're not doing that. Let's go for Mars just there. I really just wanna speak about like how much YouTube has changed. I just feel like YouTube is so different. If you guys were not watching YouTube videos like three or four years ago, like I was, and you might not necessarily understand like what I mean when I say that, but I just feel like a lot of the big creators have kind of moved on to doing their own thing and don't make a lot of the great content that, you know, they used to make. I missed it when like all my favorite YouTubers used to like post a favorite and I'd put them all like in my watch later list and I'd literally just binge watch favorite favorites and sephora hauls and things like that now i feel like not so much the beauty community let me exclude them from this statement that i'm about to make but i feel like everything on youtube these days is about getting views like i feel like for a lot of people that's a lot of the concentration and that's a lot of you know the motivation for getting on youtube on my channel i have to thank you guys because i feel like you guys do keep it a really positive place just zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see the eyes a bit better so what i'm actually gonna do is maybe just go in with that same crease brush so i'm gonna use chocolate insecure is amazing I feel like Issa Rae really understands like what it is to be a young black woman like I think it's really important that she's kind of like the voice of the young you know black generation whether it be you know the male generation the female generation I think she's doing an amazing job and can I just say I've been watching Justin J123 who does the most hilarious recaps the most hilarious reviews of shows ever of life if you don't watch his channel please I'm begging you like take yourself to his channel like right now I would not even be offended if you stopped my video and went straight to his video he's hilarious I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the metallic shades from this palette and maybe use the Makeup Forever glitter shade on top of it. This is cool, glorious. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. This is in the shade 15. I just had this with a coating of Mars on it. It's a Morphe R41. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this brown out using that. You don't seem to have a problem when my language is profane. But you're offended and insulted when I say in Jesus' name. But still I close my eyes and bow my head and fall to my knees. Cause my conviction is much stronger than my need to be. See my so now I'm pretty much getting ready for lips. I've overlined my lips, you know, it's what I do for a living. It helps pay my bills. But I wanted to shout out a lip gloss that I've been loving this month. This is the Kiko Super Gloss in the shade 1 on 10. I really have been enjoying this lip gloss. It's really soft. It's really creamy. I would say the only issue I have with this gloss is it could be a lot more... <laughs> long lasting it's a really beautiful gloss and i can't take away from that i just want to show you guys here it is a peachy kind of corally pink gloss if the lip color that we're about to do right now does not work i'm probably just gonna you know what's this phrase jump ship and use that gloss 
This is the NYX Wit. It's a lip and cheek colour. It's in the shade D Ch Cocoa Bee. It's not as pigmented as I would like and I don't really want to like pile it on. But what I will do is kind of build it up as a base and I'll probably just put that gloss on top. I was just looking for any excuse to do that to be honest. Okay so I went ahead and changed the lip just because I wasn't feeling it. I put on the same gloss but I just put on this Tartus lip paint in the shade Namaste underneath it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the get ready with me. Before we go I know I haven't done a monthly favourite so we're going to go ahead and go through some of my music favourites because I literally have four or five and I just really want to share them with you guys. Right now. It's time for us to roll So that's it for this video guys, we did a little bit of chatting, drop your comments so I can hear your opinions on some of the things that I've spoken about, I also featured some of the products that I've been loving, some of the songs, I just hope that you guys enjoyed it because I know that this get ready with me format is a little bit more casual than my typical background format which I will be continuing because at first I didn't know if I wanted to continue it but I definitely love the way those kind of videos look. Give me your feedback on my most recent videos and anything if you guys want to chat leave me a comment down below, be nice. Connect with me on my social media as always guys. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Besitos.